we're gonna uh, take a look at the plane because you bet me I couldn't make a plane. We decided to make a plane. Oh, I see the runway. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello, everybody, great to Blaze, and we're back with more Raft. Savage is here as well. He's over there painting the wood. Yes, <laughs> wood painting, my favorite pastime. That's how we make lawns and stuff. Look at how quickly, look at how efficient he's like the freaking Bob Vila of the Raft world. So I'm like the Bob Ross of the Raft world. What are you talking about? Happy little planks. I guess, yeah, it's more about, it's more about your creativity and your painting fervor than it is about your home improvement abilities now you may be asking great what are you on top of right now in the business this is what we call a screenshot tower do you notice something very similar to the screenshot of the last video that's how you make it look good i guess if you had like cheats or something like that you could probably fly as well but i don't know what they are i don't have time for that it's the good stuff yeah right all the good commands that they don't tell you about now you guys had said mm -hmm. a lot of uh suggestions you wanted uh, a thing of restrooms, which I guess makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, everyone can just blow chunks into the into the sea, I suppose. But why do that? What? This is a civilization, all right. We need to we need to act like gentlemen. So that's good. We've got a bar, which absolutely Ooh. we definitely need a place to be selling the I I don't know what sort of alcohol we have out here in the Sadlands, like mango mojitos or something like that. We got plenty of mangoes. We do. You're right. We could just steal some mangoes. That's what it will do. Ooh. You can, uh, yeah, we'll just ferment them, right? Is that all that wine? Yeah, yeah exactly. Just, just toss them in a bottle, throw some white wine in there or something like that, and call it a day. Yeah. Uh, and then on top of that, they said a restaurant. There was a an airport, <laughs> which, okay, I'm not going to lie, Savage. Yep. If you can build an airport complete with a plane, I will be, I, it'll blow my mind. All right. On it. Challenge accepted. Oh my god, the challenge has been accepted. All right, so apparently that's happening. Now we have plenty of highway into the distance over here. You guys can see the, the, the raft lands over here. Was this Sad Lane? I think this is Sad Lane. Sad Crap. Lane? Sad Way, I'm sorry. Sad Way is very long. Okay, it's a very long street. So there's plenty of potential stuff for us to put on. All right, so someone said, people were saying like, they want like a strip club and a red light district and everything. Red light? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. The freaking game? Do you think we're playing? It's uh, it's raft mature rating. Um, the uh, the seagulls have been feasting on our melons. That actually, when you say it like that, it sounds like something that you really find weird, on yeah. uh, on Urban Dictionary. But uh, I'm gonna let them do that. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep the uh, the seagulls alive. Um, and over here, I think, is where I'm gonna put the bar. Now, the bar needs to be very substantial because we need to be well stocked on beer and sausages. Beer and sausages. What are you talking about? Yeah, I get something to eat there too. It'll be like a sports bar. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 oh! I see what you're trying to say here. Hawaiian style. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a Hawaiian style bar, tiki bar. Let's see. Well, at least that's that's what they say. I, I, like I said, I don't know if this is if this is 100% gonna be Hawaiian style. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Hawaiians' words for it. You didn't say how big the plane had to be, right? Uh, no. I mean, I guess the bigger the better, but I mean, whatever, whatever is, whatever you're capable with. Oh, I gotta put some torches down over here. It got like super dark, super fast. It did. You're right. It's so dark out. Tell you what, the moon is gorgeous what? tonight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Were you expecting more? I kind of was. Yeah, you're right. I was definitely expecting more. I think I'm gonna want. I think I'm gonna want people to be able to sit at the bar from all sides. So for that, I'm actually gonna have to extend this out this way one more time and then two out this way so the bar ended up being a lot bigger than i had originally anticipated but to be fair the raft city has a lot of people on it okay and i imagine all, all of them are going to want to get drunk fairly often maybe what else maybe. is there to do out here i mean pretty much you look for new lands which there aren't any because everyone's dead um oh that's right there's a bow and arrow now oh i guess that's a good way to kill seagulls in midair yes I'm assuming so, yeah. Maybe see an enemy raft approach. Oh, no, I want my 31 chairs back. Thank you. I think this plane is coming together real nice. Oh, good. Now, these tiki, all the tiki bars that I always see are always square or maybe like octagonal. So I'm going with the, I'm going with the square technique over here. But I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to make the inside look good. Got to have some delectable roofing like this over here. I want to see the big thing was I had to make there an opening 
so that the people can get served. Um, and making a bar top is actually a little bit more difficult than you think, but I think I have a plan to how to make this work. Oh, the sun is coming up and it is a beautiful day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I would normally say out on the island, but there ain't land in any direction. What was left of civilization is gone now. Yeah, we're the last bastion of whatever's left in this world. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of a little bit depressing, I guess. Plane is all set, I think. More, more or less. Is it? <laughs> I mean, it's a rough, it's a rough plane, but it kind of resembles a plane. All right, that's fine. It's just on stilts. Oh, all right. Because that's the, I, I literally had to put it on stilts. I mean, aside from that, it looks pretty plane-like. All right, I'm coming over right now. All right, yeah, the, the, the roof is looking legit. The big thing is, I want to get those corners filled in, but it, I, I don't know if it's because, um the floor type that I have down there, but I can't get the, the corners filled in. So this is the basic design right now. I see your spaceship over there. Thank you. See that corner right there? Normally, mm -hmm. you would figure that would take a thatch roof corner, but it does not. I do not know. That should work, you're right, but it's not. Okay, I'm not worried about it for now. I'll find, I'll, we'll figure, I'll figure something out over here. It's not too, it's not a big deal. No, my ceiling. It's fine. Is it? So that's gonna have to be the roof right now. I wanted to cap these off. Um, but I'll probably have to figure something else out to cap that area off because I want it to have like this steepled roof like this mm. That's that's the kind of roof that this thing needs. That's the roof type. That's what I want. Good. There we go Looking mighty fine mighty fine. All right. Yeah, it's got a little it's got a little uh, Architectural flavor now because of that you know what I mean now. It's yeah. not it's not a perfect square or rectangle It's more like a uh, like a slightly uh, jacked up square or rectangle. I like it. Fantastic. Now, right over Coloring here. Coloring this bad boy green? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna have some green to it. Now, one of the things that you need is you need to have yourself the name of the bar. So, let's see here. I'm gonna make sure to... Oh, you can hang this up top. That is friggin' majestic. All right, now, Savage came up with this name right over here. Welcome, everyone. Water World Apocalypse Only Bar and Grill. Not only is it a regular bar, it's also... The place where we're gonna get our fresh water from because there's no other place. It's also hibachi grill. Oh Okay, yeah, you could cook. Oh, you know what? We may actually need to get some fish just to put them on there for the look Hmm. Oh, we're starting to get wavy out. It's fine. The glorious raft city will will survive any storm I just thought about it. I mm -hmm. should have uh, I probably should have made this like a second story up Someone had mentioned, I saw in the comments, they were like, you let the slums live on the first story. Like, the second wow. the second and third that story is... are for the people that can afford to not have their place be underwater all the time. I was like, Jeez. I was like, wow. <laughs> the that is brutal. The monetary segregation begins. It's a whole new world of survival after the entire populace has been buried beneath the ocean and people are already like, yeah, the poor people gotta live on the bottom of the boat. There we go. Now it's starting to look pretty good. Now the bar top's kind of narrow, I know, but it's good enough to get your drink on. Uh, you could be you could be served a nice, I don't know, Captain Morgan or whatever you might want while you're out here. It should be just fine. Now it's gonna need some storage for all of the, uh, all the food and refrigeration and all that. Well, refrigeration. For all the food and fish and stuff like that. Also, we're gonna need some shark heads on here, I do believe. Uh-oh. Water's getting a little rough. This is why people drink all the time. This is what happens. Why? Because you, you gotta deal with this, with all this, these monsoons out of nowhere. The only thing that makes people happy is getting, uh, beschnicked or whatever they call it. Beschnicked? Ass naked? Isn't it, uh, Vashnikid? Isn't that the, the word of, uh, the immortal, uh, um, Mel Brooks? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me tell you something. If you boys never done underwater decorating, that's how you do it. It's like full contact bowling. See? It takes something that would normally- Wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Let's roll back there a second. Did you say full contact bowling? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll explain it in a second. It's, it's how you it's... take something that's fairly innocuous, and then you make it that much more hardcore. See, a lot of people would look at decorating and they'd be like, oh, Gray, that's boring. It could be, it could be, unless you were doing it in the middle of the monsoon, then suddenly it's pretty difficult. It's just like bowling. A lot of people think that bowling's pretty easy until a 350 pound guy is trying to knock your chiclets out. 
then it gets a lot harder. Hell type of bowling do you play, guy? <laughs> Jesus. New Jersey bowling. You live in Florida. Shut up. But I'm from Jersey. Man, I'm so thirsty. You know what would be great? If I went underwater for a moment from a giant wave, and that would sure quench <laughs> my thirst. <laughs> oh, hold on, the way it's coming. I see one big wave rolling in over here. Come on, baby. Oh, what is this? What? Wustastic wave. It was like, whoa, 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 never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The original wave was like waist height, and I was like, this wave isn't good enough. But now, now I, I, I now I got hit with a wave. That that was a legit, that was a legit wave. I'm putting some luxury items down over here. Luxury items. What the hell are luxury items? You'll see. I'm worried. Oh my god, I'm going on the water. Holy hell. We're good. We're okay. Did you die on me, Savage? Try not to. Someone's got a man to airport. There we go. That's that's gonna feel good on your tootsers right there. Oh yeah, that's legit. That's what I'm talking about. Now I wonder, can you put shelves on beams? I've never tried. Now I was wondering if you could put these shelves on the beams, and you absolutely can. Although they, it's weird because they have like support structures, but they're not actually affixed to anything, so it looks a little weird. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Can I can I put stuff on the shelf? Ah, and you cannot paint a shelf. Okay. Or at least I don't think you can. I'm gonna tell you what though, Savage. I got it. I, it's, it looks perfect now. When you see this, it's gonna blow your freaking mind. Will I? Blow yep. my mind? It's gonna blow your mind. What color goes good with red, would you say? Uh... For the, for the tiki bar. There's white. Blue. White's fine, but... Yeah, white's, white'll work. All right, Savage, it's ready. Come take a look. Give me two seconds. I'm finishing up this stupid airport. Oh, God, this is such a pain in the ass to do. I'm not going to lie. This is the hardest structure I've ever had to build. When you're done, you get, you, you're get seeing the fruits of my labor over here at this airport. There, there it is. Right over here. Are you throwing shit into my ocean? You're littering? It's fine. There's no one else here. It's not like we're killing the next generation. They're all dead anyway. Look. That's true. Oh. What do you think? I like this. I like this a lot. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. I like this shark. That's right. You see what it says Free underneath? Shark? You see what it says underneath the shark? No, I, I actually can't read it. Free beer? Yes. Oh, free beer! Hell yeah! We don't have any currency anyway. Woohoo! Everybody drink for free. Unless you're trading mango seeds or something. Alright, let's take a look at the airport over here. Because we're gonna have to All get- Alright, so we're not gonna go in the airport yet. Okay. We're gonna take a look at the plane. Because you bet me I couldn't make a plane. We decided to make a plane. Oh, I see the runway! <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have our luxury line. Yes. Oh, this is so good. With stock with captain's quarters. Wow. All right. Yep. And four passenger capabilities. Okay. And we're well, going to have to name it for sure. There we go. Appropriately named the Chew and Flu. The Chew and Flu. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> What's going on at the front of the airport? What do you got like a TSA checkpoint or something? No, no. Okay. Would you like a flight or would you like a boat, sir? Okay, so you get your flight. Uh huh. Where's the metal detector at? I'm waiting. Oh, oh my God! Wow. <laughs> metal detector. In case you acted suspicious, you come back here and there's the single table. Is this the interrogation room? Yep. <laughs> Hold and on. Of course, ground level windows to see the entire action at. There, there's, there's that. There's the one light that they always swing on you. God. To make it to make you sweat. All right. Oh wow. Oh and then wow. We have the boarding this, zone. This is this is fantastic. Right over here. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks great. I love the fact that you legitimately made an airport. <laughs> there you go. There's the families, right there, so they can watch as their loved ones finally leave the giant flotilla raft, never to be seen again. Because realistically, I mean, how much fuel do we really have? What is this thing running on? Freaking coconut oil? Yes. The only oil. I like that it's roped off, too, so the rabble can't get in. Oh, you can put that on. You can put that on rope? Yep. On the uh, fences? Oh, that's a game changer. I'm sure we could figure something out for that. That right there, that's a winner. See, now, if the pilots crash, they won't be ejected to their... Di well, they will, but they'll be caught by the rope first, which and will... probably hung. Yes, but, but that's better than being disemboweled, right? That's true. It's very true. So we have the beginnings of the airport over here. We've got the bar. I don't know. Is there anything else that we could build real quick? I don't know. People asking for bathrooms. Yeah, they want like a public bathroom with like a bunch of stalls. 
If I was gonna put it somewhere, I'd probably put it right here next to the bar area. Like right All in between right. right between this area over here. And, and like, like right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh geez. And then we'll need a uh, men's room men's and a room. and a woman's room, yeah. We go. What kind of walls you want for this? Thatch. Thatch walls. Oh yeah. Oh a beautiful sunrise. About friggin' time. Feels like it's been night forever. Perfect. <laughs> this is your stalls. Or this is your uh, urinals. <laughs> yep. Hang on. There's oh. more. Oh, wow. You know what? This was a good idea. The, the small water purifiers for the, for the hand station. And then the big ones for the toilets. <laughs> that's really smart. I like that. That's really, have... that's really good. I like how my bathroom came. How about you? Oh my god, I fell in between them. Oh, I, I, I'm making it, uh, I'm making it equa, equa appropriate or whatever. So I'm, I'm using your design over here, pretty much. Equa, equa, equa sadness, equa distant. I don't know, whatever it is. But I got equa distant, equilateral. I think you could fit a another set of stalls over here. Oh yeah. All right. Wow, that's, that's hot right there. There you go. You guys wanted a set of public bathrooms. That looks you pretty weirdos. That looks pretty legit. Now I will say, hold on. We could even have because they always have one of these when you're leaving the bathroom. What there. a mint? No, a nice trash can. So I'm using I'm using the uh, the cheaper, more more hastily made storage containers for this. The the plastic sad look of it looks more like an appropriate trash can. There we go. Right that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. That should give enough light. To everyone beautiful so they can enjoy very beautiful so in this episode of raft cribs edition we have the uh, red white and brew now open for business you got a couple of choices over here you got your salmon you got your tilapia you got some para para watts or whatever over there that you can be served i don't really remember what they're called looking legit though with the uh the happy cat, he's waving you in. He says, come and spend your bottle caps over here. Because mm -hmm. we both know that's all anyone has now to actually use as currency in this sad, depressed world. Eh. You wanted a public bathroom? I gotta tell you, Savage's layout here for the for the bathroom is fantastic. You come in, you got your privacy. Look at this room, too. Place to wash your hands off. Uh, we're gonna have to pretend that that's a mirror because that's what Good. you do. <laughs> Several... Delicious toilets over here. I like that it does legitimately like if you close this as well It it it's got that toilet look to it. I I really appreciate that It's got some lighting in here and then this is this is kind of the star I really I really like what you're doing over here. Thank you all the way at the other side of Raft City And this is just the beginning again. This is not the entire Raft City yet We still got a lot of work to do is the airport and the boat docks so you get your flight you gotta go through the uh, through check-in over here. You gotta deal with the the, the possible TSA. feds or whatever have you. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting scanned. Give me a second. Yeah. Do you have any metallic items on you? Yeah, they're all over you. You're like freaking Iron Man over here. And there's the uh, there's your gangway or whatever it is. Everyone's watching their family going off to their deaths. And then the plane itself even exists right now, and it looks slick. Beautiful. Absolutely majestic. Look at that. Look at this bird right there. I'm telling you, it just it just needed just a little bit of color. That's all I really wanted from it. Maybe like that right there. Go. We got the full runway over here as well. Which I, I'm actually very appreciative of this runway. Oh, you know what it you know what the runway needs? Lights. Yeah. Perfect. There it is. Alright. I think that's gonna be it. The chew and flu is just about ready for business over here. It's just about ready to help people. Find well, I guess we're making utopia. So I don't know utopia 2.0 whatever anyone else whatever some other Scumbags <laughs> with way too much time on their hands have made but it looks pretty legit Is there anything else that you want us to continue to make now? We still have to make uh, people at Murrah had said like a restaurant and uh, Monorail a monorail. <laughs> I'm making a monorail. Okay. Apparently a monorail is gonna happen I I can't wait to see that you're gonna make Disney World here. How about a freaking well, you bet your Ferris wheel? How about a roller coaster? You want to make a roller coaster? I'll do it. All right. I'll do it guys Let us know if you want to see a roller coaster. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of raft until the next time Stay foxy much love. Bye